The HDC 1M8 for Windows lets you hide the navigation bar. We're going to show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here, Windows Phone Central, and we're taking a closer look today to HTC One M8 for Windows, which is now available exclusively on Verizon Wireless here in the United States, although AT&T is getting it soon, as well as other carriers. One unique aspect of the HTC One M8 is its ability to hide the navigation bar, which I'm talking about this little guy down here, which is the start key, search, and back button. And what I mean specifically is when I turn that display off, they disappear too. So on a normal Windows phone, or a traditional one I should say, those buttons are actually physically on the device and they're always there even when the display is off. However, on this device, they are virtual keys, so they're part of the software. Uh, but one interesting aspect that HTC has actually implemented, um, and this was always an option, but they're the first ones to actually take advantage of it, is you can see that little arrow key lets me hide that button, and it gives you even a little tutorial the first time you run it, and it tells you it's still available and how to get it back, because obviously it's pretty important. And then you can make sure that you don't see that again and hit dismiss. So now with that button, hidden you can see the full display to get it back you just swipe it back up definitely pretty cool but there's actually more to it than that so let's head into the settings and i'm going to show you the different ones there are because there's actually a few other options you can have the auto hide show the nav bar and so you just saw that happen. You can always have it uh, always dark, match the background. So when I open up my email with the light background, it actually change. Or you can actually have it match the accent color, which is kind of neat too. So that's an option you can have. I actually like match background. I think it looks the best, but the choice is yours. There's another option though here, which is swipe to hide the nav bar. And then when I did that, you see that little arrow disappeared. And so what happened there now is I had, it's going to give me a little menu again, but you swipe up now to dismiss and swipe to get it back. So it's a universal uh, feature basically. And what's kind of neat about this too is it's dynamic, meaning developers when they make apps can actually have it auto hide that taskbar. So if I go into say uh, photos and I bring up the screenshot, you'll notice those keys have automatically disappeared. And so if I want to get them back, I just swipe back up. Um, but that is sort of like a neat aspect of that. So it's going to vary from program to program. This morning we announced that uh, Copilot brought over their premium app to Windows Phone. And actually I don't want to rate that right now. But you can see in the app here, uh, this is sort of like a, a small little problem with this where you see the nav bar now is actually blocking part of the screen. So I swipe up and now it disappears. So it is, you know, I can use it again. So presumably Copilot can actually make this so that it automatically hides if they wanted to and make it a little bit better. All it means though is if you're driving and you need to get back those keys, you just swipe up and you can get them and then go back to the Windows main screen or do whatever you want. So it's definitely a little bit different. I can't say I find it annoying to be honest. It may seem like an extra step and technically it is, but it's actually pretty fluid when you use it. And it's kind of a neat option. I'm sure many of you will be interested in it. It'll be kind of curious to see if other OEMs take advantage of it, but that's how it works on the HTC One M8. So stay tuned for more information on this device as we get ready for the full review or head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care everybody.